Rarely can one player beat five all on her own, with teams routinely committing two and at times even three defenders to slow her down. Coach John Kreiner needs others to step up offensively. 2.5 players per, uh, for every time Jay catches the ball, 2.5 players are going to be guarding her. Uh, so there's got to be, you know, some open players and some open looks out there. Open looks are great, but you still need to hit the shots. That's an area where the Wolves have struggled, especially from distance. As a team, LU is shooting less than 20% from three-point range. Only five teams in the country are less effective in that area. Most of your shot is mental, like, and it's about the confidence that you take behind it. So I've really been trying to put that confidence in my teammates. To like, I know their potential. A lot of teams don't. They might just see the numbers. But I know that each one of my teammates can, can provide. In particular, Kreiner wants his players to be more patient, even when the shots aren't falling early in a game. Even if we're not scoring, we need to take good shots, and we need to, to play the shot clock out as opposed to taking early shots or try to do too much too early. Sometimes we, we take threes and it's, it's not a good shot and, and that just shows in the numbers. So, you know, sometimes we can even take a dribble in, you know, attract defenders and swing the ball. It's a lot of things you can do rather than just shooting the, shooting the three. One player who needs to step up, says Kreiner, is fifth year shooting guard Katie Ulakovic. She should be Lakehead's best deep ball shooter, but has struggled from range this season. Ulakovic has made just 15% of her three point attempts well below her career average. She's on pace for her lowest number of made and attempted threes since her sophomore season. Even if you go 0 for 5, you've got to take the sixth shot. You've got to get out there and you've got to shoot the ball. You've got to make them pay for the way they're playing. And, uh, uh, and, and if she takes those shots, they're going to be good shots and we're going to have a good chance to get a good offensive rebound. The problem is she's not taking them now and then, and then shot clock's running out or she's taking a tough, tough shot that leads to transition the other way. So she's, she's probably the, the, you know, the, the, the biggest player that we're looking at um, right now to, to, to step up. The Wolves return to action after Christmas when they travel to Halifax for a non-conference tournament. Their OUA schedule resumes at home on January 9th. Ryan Bonazzo, TVT Sports.